Our Tech Studio has two great editing tools that work really, really well for fusions after you've created them. We're going to look at the defeature brush first, and then we'll look at the smoothing brush. So I have a sharp fusion from a spider scan created here. This is a watertight model. I'm going to come into the defeature brush in my editor and select the 3D selection tool. This is, uh, this is the method that I use for selection most of the time. If I come in here, I'm going to hold control just like I do with the eraser and my, my selection circle will pop up. I can make it larger or smaller, just depending on what I need. And this is how the defeature tool works. Unlike the eraser where it just erases, the defeature when I select, when I let go, it erases whatever I selected and then fills it in. So that's not a great example of what I just did there. That's not really a great example of what you might use this for. I'm going to hit cancel and go back in. What I might use the D feature for is maybe I don't want this ear detail here, right? Or maybe you have something sticking out the side of the model that you don't want. So I can just select like that. And now it removed that ear detail. So that's the 3D brush. 2D selection works exactly like it does in the eraser tool. And remember, if you have this select through option selected, which it is by default, if I click on my model to erase, remember that it's going to go all the way through your model. But, and I didn't hit apply at all, so when I hit cancel on the D feature, it brought everything back. That's something good to know. I go back to D feature, 2D selection, turn off my select through, I can then come in and just select the front side and it's going to leave the back side alone. So let's hit cancel. I'm going to go back to my D feature brush, 3D selection tool, and let's get rid of that ear again. And then hit apply. Okay. So after the defeature brush is usually when I'll go in and use the smoothing brush. If I come in here to the smoothing brush, you can adjust your brush size here and your smoothing intensity here. I usually leave the smoothing intensity all the way down. Again, you hold control to bring up your, your brush circle, your selection brush, and change the size. I like to do a series of clicks when I'm smoothing just so I have full control over what's getting smoothed. I can come in and just click and drag, but you can end up smoothing more than you want to if you do that. For example, if I wanted to smooth his whole, you know, just his face, I could do one or two clicks to smooth the face, but if I click and drag, it's going to get rid of his entire face. So you got to be careful with that, but it is a nice tool to be able to come and edit, specifically for stuff like this right here. So this is a great example this parting seam from the injection molding process. I can come in, again, I can do a couple clicks, or this might be a case where you do want to just come in and really smooth that out by clicking and dragging, and then maybe make it a little larger and just do a couple clicks across and get rid of that seam. If I hit apply, it's going to apply that, but Everything that I've done still is kept in the undo history, so I can do control Z, control Z, and get back everything that I did. So don't be afraid to experiment with editing and, um, you know, maybe being a little more aggressive than you need to be until you get uh, what you need to when you're editing your model, because you can always go back and hit undo and try again. And that's the defeature and smoothing brush within Artec Studio.